Last week we sailed overnight from Crotone on the south coast of mainland Italy to a beautiful city called Siracusa in Sicily. We've ended up spending quite a lot of time here, much longer than we expected as we wait out some pretty nasty weather systems that continuously keep developing in the Med. That's over here, blue sky, and then boom, that looks a bit scary. It's been a slow start to the season and we're wondering if summer is ever going to start at this point. But fear not, we still enjoyed our time in Syracuse, strolling the beautiful streets. way through all the cheap eats we could find. Uh, We're having parmesan, no? Wow. Arancini. Oh yeah. <laughs> How's your first uh, pizza in Sicily? This is the first pizza we've had. Well, we've, we've been told about this place by locals. Um, very hard to find, but amazing bloody pizza. Mm -hmm. Really, really good. And exploring the area by tender. Yet we've still been here way too long, over 10 days to be exact. So we're taking a small gap in the weather to make our way for Malta. We're finally leaving. <laughs> Jason told me to give some emotion. <laughs> I well, we've been stuck here for nine days. Oh, literally. Days. Like we don't even know how long we've been stuck here. We've lost count now, but um, we are finally leaving. It's still a bit windy, but we're so sick of sitting here and we've kind of got a break in the weather. So we're gonna just go and see what happens. The plan is to sail to the bottom of Sicily, um, which will take like five or six hours, I think you said, didn't you? Four to four to six hours. And then once we get down the bottom, we'll get to like where the open water is um, and won't have any land kind of protecting us anymore. So we'll see what the swell's like. And if it's not too bad, we might just sail on to Malta, um, which from here to Malta is like 16 hours total. So we'll get there early in the morning, which is perfect. Um, so yeah, we'll see how we go. We've got some food, we've got bolognese in the freezer. So we've got food prepped for dinner if we need. Um, I made sourdough this morning. So we've got some toast ready to go. And yeah, so we got the tender up, got the motor up yesterday. I've never seen Janae so excited to sail in 20, 25 knots of wind. No, no, I probably won't be so excited soon. I'll be scared and whinging. And anyway, it's we'll see. wind too, it's not even downwind. Yeah. Well, I think it's because I know that like, it's not actually that long of a sail today if we decide to stop. What, 16 hours? No, if we decide to stop, uh, I said. So, yeah. worst comes to worst, we have somewhere to stop. I don't know how protected it will be, but. And we've got easing wind too, so. Yeah. It is supposed to die, die down the later the day gets. I think eight o'clock it dies down to about 20. So that's why we decided that maybe we can keep going. And then, and then from at 12 o'clock, it's like, 10 to 15 so it's pretty comfortable sailing at night i guess if it's if it is those conditions mm. but who knows you never know with like that forecast beforehand said we're going to get 73 knots and we got 30 30 knots max yeah so it could be coming today we'll see what happens <laughs> it's already on everything's good to go let's do it bye bye Syracuse. you were good to us Nice bay, hey. Yeah. Nice cool little place, but you definitely don't need 10 days here, that's for sure. About three days would have been perfect. But would recommend. Just gonna make some lunch before it gets a bit too windy. Um, we've been making really nice lunches, so we've got burrata. Um, artichokes, some nice Italian fresh ham, 
tomatoes and olives and then really nice like ciabatta style bread. So I'm just heating that up in the oven and then I'll put it all together, I'll show you. It's going to be very hard to eat. But this is what it looks like. Oh yeah. Delicious, huh? So the wind got strong pretty quickly. seven and a half knots. Um, we're super reefed in. We've got a second reef in the main and barely just over a blanket size of head sail out. It's pretty uncomfortable. The wind direction is not where it's supposed to be. So we're sailing really tight. We're sailing on a 30, 32 degree angle right now. But in saying that, I'd rather be out here than be in Saracusa another day. <laughs> Not saying it's bad, but sailing is just so much better. Even in this. What do you think, Janae? We'll see in a few hours. <laughs> <laughs> Jason just got smashed by a wave. Lucky he didn't get super wet. Uh, not wet yet. He called it a dick. I was like, don't call it a dick. Otherwise it'll get angry. The ocean. I think it's already pretty angry. <laughs> yeah. It can get angry though, don't you worry. It so it's pretty horrible conditions right now. We're just trying to decide what to do if we keep going. To Malta um, or we turn in it's like another 10 hours to Malta but it's pretty horrible right now we're smashing into swell what was that smashing into swell we've got like 23 to 25 knots um, and we're going like as tight as we can into it and we're not even going in the right direction we're going down to like <laughs> not even like What's that country next to Tunisia? Algeria or something. So, yeah. We'll probably turn in a bit now. Anyway, I don't really want to do this. Like, I really want to just get to Malta, but I also don't want to deal with this for the next 10 hours in the night. Like, in the day, it, you can deal with it. But in the night, it just makes it even worse because you can't see properly. Um, yeah, we're getting smashed. Jason's getting smashed with water up there. On the other hand, we are hooking it. <laughs> yeah, just going the right direction. <laughs> oh, yeah. Woo! It's coming our way. Lucky them. sideway just come. I saw it coming but I thought the boat would stop it and it just oh. smacked us. It smacks you. This is like, this isn't the colour of his pants. They are soaked. That's the colour down there. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is not fun. It's not the best. I reckon it's just this point though but we'll find out in a minute. <laughs> How good is this invention? It's just unbelievable. Look on the guy. Just 
shows you how much we held over. Janae made some bolognese for our, not necessarily for our passage, but we're having it for our passage. And it looks so good. We're currently, look at the lean. Um, we are currently maybe 40 nautic miles in. And we got about 40 to go. But we're hooking it right now. We're going 7.6 knots, 16 knots of wind, and we are tight as a mofo to it. Horrible. Never again. <laughs> we we had a few scary moments in it, didn't we, Holly? I already cried today, and I feel seasick. Joe's gonna quit want, sailing. Never want to do sailing again. <laughs> We did, we went through a pretty epic part when we were cro crossing like Sicily and um, it did get pretty hairy there. It got up to like 30 knots true wind um, and the swell was just crazy. We are getting smashed by it, literally coming over, spraying us pretty much every wave and it was, it was uncomfortable, but. It was uncomfortable and I got scared and we had no choice but to keep going because if we wanted to turn, to go like to our plan B location, it was going to be dangerous. It was either we go back to Syracuse or keep going. And I was I was nearly about to turn around. I was just waiting for the right moment. Um, the but, only reason I didn't want to turn around is because I'm like, well, great. If we turn around, I got to do all this f***ing tomorrow again. Yeah. Well, I was actually going to turn around, but just was waiting for the right moment. And then all of a sudden, it just started coming down. Jace noticed a bunch of large ships on the AIS coming into Malta, but luckily he then noticed they were all just anchored up in what must be a shallow area for them to wait. Thank God for AIS. We only have a receiver currently and not a transmitter, so we'd love to upgrade this at some stage so other ships can also see us on their AIS. We've successfully made it to Malta. It is 5.30 in the morning, so we're going to get some rest. Um, really cool town to come into like i highly recommend just coming into malta just to see how cool it is especially at night time i don't know if it's different in the daytime oh at the sunrise just as the sun's rising eh? Uh, it was like has the sun even risen no nah, it's, it's, it's just light. light yeah it's just starting to come light i was i went really slow like just i needed like a tiny bit of light i couldn't see anything yeah just to come in new new destination it's a bit sketchy coming in at night and this anchorage is tiny, tiny, and it's tiny. It's, it's like an aisleway. Oh yeah, there's <laughs> like five boats. Yeah, we're, we're very close, aren't we? Lucky it's nice and calm right now. Yeah, but tomorrow it's going to kick off. So today, isn't it? Tonight, tonight technically now. Oh yeah, tonight. But yeah, let's get some rest. <laughs> and uh, Jason just found free Wi-Fi, <laughs> so we have some internet. So good. We've had a few hours of rest. I'm gonna get up and make something to eat because I haven't eaten since yesterday lunchtime. I lose my appetite a little bit on overnight passages, but it makes me feel really gross and like I've had a massive night or something. But I'll show you what it looks like where we are. It's really cool. I said to Jason early this morning, wow, it really feels like I'm in a new country now. It's like a little swim area. And then we're really close to some other boats, like which is a little bit uncomfortable. We feel kind of bad, but maybe we'll reposition ourselves today. But it's such a tiny bay, it looks like everyone's kind of squished in. And then look at the town that we can see over there. It looks so cool. Wow. So excited to explore. It looks epic. Bit of a mess out here this morning. We got sprayed with so much water last night that all of our cushions just got soaked, which we knew weren't gonna dry because it was coming into the night time. Everything stays damp. We had a disaster, which we didn't tell anyone about at the time, but Jason suggested we take our paddleboard off because we usually do when we're sailing upwind and we're on a lean. Anyway, we didn't do it. And then all of a sudden we heard a big bang and the paddleboard holders had ripped off and 
the paddle board was still attached, but it was surfing along in the water here. Um, yeah, not the best situation, probably a little bit dangerous, but anyway, we managed to get the paddle board in. We had to take the sails in. Um, the rack is gone into the ocean. So lucky we're about to go to Tunisia and redo, hopefully, this. Um, so we can use some leftover to make a new one. But yeah, that's our lesson learned. Definitely take it in, which we usually do. Yeah, so I think we'll just be cleaning up all the mess this morning. Probably deflating the paddle board for now so it's not in our way. And we also had water leaking from under here like quite badly with all the water splashing up on deck. Um, I put a towel there and the towel was absolutely soaked and then it was dripping through the hatch onto the bed. So I had a big wet patch here. Some of our pillows and doona was wet. So yeah, it's a bit of a disastrous sail to be honest. Um, it looks like we've had some leakage here as well, which seems to happen right near the power point, which is probably not safe. So we need to really figure out what the hell's going on. And I slipped over here and stacked it really bad. And also in the bedroom. <laughs> Just going to check in and then we're gonna go to the canvas store and get our canvas. I'm really excited. Apparently when arriving in Malta by sailboat, officials will stamp a crew list and not stamp your passport. This means even though they're part of the Schengen zone, if you checked out of a Schengen country, then your precious 90 days won't keep ticking away. So we were really hoping this was going to prove true, as we don't have a lot of choices of countries to exit the Schengen zone as we sail west in the Med. We're all checked in. That was the easiest check-in we have ever done. <laughs> Confirmed that uh, they don't count on your Schengen time because they literally didn't even look at our passports. They didn't even want them. All they wanted was a crew list. They stamped it. So it's good because we know that they didn't put it in their system somehow, even though um, they didn't stamp it. So whereas Albania, they don't stamp your passport, but you're not sure if it's actually, it's still probably in their system, even though that's not part of the Schengen. Mm. But yeah, so really good. Um, that was so easy. It was really friendly. Um, only thing is we need to try and find a dinghy dock and a SIM card because we've got no internet. <laughs> Although, we have found some free Wi-Fi here, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah. Seems like it's pretty good with stuff like that. So, hopefully, yeah, we can find our way around. We found it. And now to carry the materials back to the boat, liverboard style. We've made the most out of today. We didn't sleep, really. Well, we had, we had a couple of hours sleep when we anchored. Um, but usually after a night passage, just... <laughs> <laughs> You <laughs> We're celebrating being in Malta. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, usually after a night passage, you um, you feel pretty ruined for the next couple of days. Oh yeah, it feels like we had a bender. Yeah, <laughs> literally. So hopefully, 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 we feel good tomorrow because we're gonna be we're gonna go to sleep at a normal time. We haven't slept all day. We've been productive, and now, cheers to being in Malta. <laughs> <laughs>